today my mom and I are going to the Goodwill bins. We've never, I've never been. She's been a couple times. She went in New York City actually. And so I'm gonna come check it out with her. It's kind of out of my comfort zone. She's kind of explained that it's a little bit weird. They don't allow cameras. It's not gonna be like a typical thrift vlog that I do. Um, so we'll see how it goes. But hopefully we find some little hidden gems in there. But I guess it's just buckets of clothes. And house good housewares. housewares and books. Just it's apparently stuff that didn't sell in the Goodwill within the six week rotation. But like after the 99 cent day, if it didn't sell that day, it goes to the bins. And then they also take raw donations. People can drop off things at the bins. It's kind of in an industrial area. So it's it's a guessing game what will be there. We're wearing gloves. <clears throat> apparently you don't really know what to find in there. So we bought gloves. And we're really gonna just have some fun there. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Mallory. I live in New York City and I work in the fashion industry, but right now um, I'm in Kansas City for Easter and my mom's birthday and my nephew's birthday. And <clears throat> so we're just gonna get a lot of thrifting content because suburban thrift stores are so much cheaper than New York thrift stores. Um, and you know, who doesn't like to save money and it gives us something fun to do here. Oh my gosh, why is it so bright? Um, yeah, if you love all things thrifting and fashion, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on Instagram. Keep up with my, you know, day-to-day -day stuff and just outfit of the days. I post a lot of those and I do a lot of fashion content and then talk about like what my next video is gonna be about. Usually it's thrifting, but if not, you know, I will like kind of post about that. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram and you can also follow my mom, Clothes Queen 999 She does so much posh marking. She's a reseller and so she does that as a hobby and really enjoys it so yeah go ahead and do all the things but come along with us and check it out and we'll do a little haul and um i'll try to get a little bit of footage in there but i don't know she said it's like weird that you really can so i don't want to bring my camera in i'll try to sneak some with my phone though <laughs> We were able to find hot pink gloves. How freaking cute is that, Mom? They're a little bit of a pale pink. Durable pink is the name Durable. of the color. Look at this. Send help. My family is nuts. That's you, Mom. You're nuts. It's too tight for me. It's so far, girl. I like it. I don't know. Let's see. There's a lot of stuff here, but a lot of it is just kind of rank. But we'll be here a while, that's for dang sure. A lot of kids' clothes, at least in the bucket we are in. So many buckets to go through. We're gonna be here for two hours. Yeah. Gingham. Oh, pajama pants. What do you think of this hot dog? It's okay. It's kind of ugly. It's kind of that Y2K. 90s thing. Maybe. But it's not winter. Maybe. <clears throat> kind of cute. Found a cute blazer, but I already have one. It's pretty dirty. So. Yeah, the shoulders may faded from somebody. Mom literally has a whole cart full of items. Look at the cutest little thing I found. I think this is adorable. I'm not finding much for myself. I thought these were really cute, but they came in a seven, so whatever, but Are these we're looking. Like in right now? The not quite platform platforms Maybe. the 90s? Maybe. It they probably no will, not on yet. It. I think they're fun. They're kind of fun. I don't know what size they are. Too small for me, I think. I don't know. I think I'll make it up. There's so many buckets and buckets and buckets. 
found the cutest chocolate blazer, but it's a little bit worn out and it, my mom thinks it smells like smoke. Like smoke. Cigarettes. Like cigarette smoke. It takes a long time to get that set. I think out. we have to leave it because I don't want it to smell like that. No. Oh, oh this is so cute. Oh my Very Gochi, Gochi, Gochi. Prestige business fashions made in USA. I love it. Somebody needs this. So we just finished up shopping at the Goodwill outlet. I am exhausted. It is so tiring. You really do dig through like buckets and buckets and buckets of things. I didn't get a ton of footage, but I was able to kind of sneak in a little bit here and there. But I would say it was really... It definitely you have to like prepare for it. I'm glad I was like prepared to like dig through stuff, but I'm so thirsty right now. We're gonna go to Quick Trip and get like some Diet Cokes or something. But my mom found so much for reselling and we spent like $70. $70? $70. $70. Entire cart mounded full of stuff. Like probably like 40 shoes. <clears throat> Maybe 25. 20 shoes. And like so many shirts and just bunch of jackets random. and coats and stuff. They're I would say like for me, I didn't really find a lot of success in like things for me just because it's not sized out. There's like bed sheets involved, there's pillows, there's curtains, there's fabric, there's all kinds of things in with the clothes. So you like have to like go through, there was so many kids clothes. I was like, okay, this is a lot. Or like men's clothes. You could definitely tell it was like the discards from the place but we found some really good hidden gems especially more of the that vintage vibe like that my mom does so well reselling so we're just gonna head to um what's it called now and then we have to wash all the clothes because everything also is like a little bit moist there was a couple of pillows that looked like they've been left outside and they were like what made other things in the bin feel but so we, we wore gloves and, and I just and already sanitized everything. my hands. But yeah, we need to clean everything and then we'll go through it and maybe I'll do a try on of the few things that I got for myself. We found a lot of really cute shoes, but they were like size six, size seven and a half, and I'm an eight and a half, so that's a bummer. But we did find, like, we really did find quite a bit. Some so, pretty cool things. And when we walked in, we were like so confused. They were like moving all the carts around, like all the big blue buckets around. And I was like, okay, well, this is all very interesting. She, the guys were like, stop, stop. And we were like, what? Where do we go? <laughs> like, we thought it was for COVID protocol. Like, we had to go in a certain direction. But really, everyone was like, stop there. And all the, like, professional ones were sitting there, like, ready to go to the new carts. Because they were, like, moving old carts into, like, this back warehouse. Bringing new carts in that were mounted twice the amount of the other ones. Because those obviously had been gone through in the morning. And it was like kind of overwhelming. I felt like I was on storage wars where they're like, everyone waits and then they open it and everyone's like, ooh, what are we gonna get? And so we got a little overwhelmed on that guy. And we were talking to this woman and she was like so stinking nice. She was literally like, oh, so this is how it works. Like for COVID reasons, you have to stand on the X and then you can look through and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. She was like, I would bring my own bag, but sometimes right now you can't bring your own bag, so I would just find a bag in the buckets and like use that to hold everything because like there was literally no carts. There were so many like pros there. It was a little intimidating. Yeah, there were people with like three full mounted carts full of stuff so that they many. were going to buy. And this is all stuff that if Goodwill just sent it to be recycled would be trash and these people were there. It's at a bargain, but it's definitely a lot of work. Yeah. I mean, it, it's definitely like a full time. Like I can see how people do full time. Like spend five. We, six, we I, were I there know. for like three hours, two hours, two I hours, know. maybe two hours, yeah. like two ish hours. And we got a lot, but like we didn't even look through the whole thing at all. We probably went through like seven buckets. Yeah, we probably did like five buckets of soft stuff, and then we went through the shoe bins that everybody had already gone through, and they didn't want any of the things. And I'm like, ooh, these are awesome. Ooh, these are awesome. Right. And they're like, I'm like, these are fun, but you know, I like kind of the odd things and the older things. And since I'm selling them, I can buy them in a size six. Found an amazing pair of boots, but they're like super tiny. Yeah. But somebody so with small cute. feet needs these amazing boots. They're yes. So cool. Yeah, so I would say it was really cool. It was nice to hear from that girl. She was super nice. She was like, yeah, 
people will go through a bucket in like one minute and then it'll be open. So then I walked over, should I tell the story? Yeah. So then I walk over, and my mom's like, oh, I'm, oh, I see a cart open, I'm gonna go grab it. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go over here to the like new stuff, because we got intimidated by the new stuff when it was like first rolled out. So then we were like, oh, we'll just go over here to like the like whatever yeah, stuff. open spot. And then go back later, and it had been about an hour since those ones were rolled out. So we, I was like, oh, let's check it out. There's an empty X. No one was standing there, so I just mosey my way over, just having a good old time, start looking through. I'm like, oh, I think this is anthropology, whatever. Someone comes over and she's like, why are you in my spot? And she's like, this woman came over here and took my spot. And I'm like, what are you talking about? She had like a cart there, or like a laundry bucket. basket on the floor. <clears throat> I had no idea, no one was standing there. So I'm just living my best life, going through all these clothes. And then I didn't even know she was talking to me. I thought she was with someone, like talking about something else. I'm so unaware that I'm like in this spot that was open. I guess she went to go get something. Anyway, so I'm like, oh, sorry, like, no worries, I'll walk away. The worker comes over. I don't know if she got a worker because I wasn't, like, paying attention. paying attention to what she was saying. I don't know. I just block everyone out all the time in public. Like, ever since, especially, I moved to New York, like, I just don't listen to other people. So then the worker comes over and is like, ma'am, do you know what's going on? And I was like, what? Wait, me? And he was like, you're in her area and she, you know, had her cart here and she went walked away for a second. Oh, oh, okay, no worries, I'll walk away. And she's still going on and on about how I took her spot and was going through her things. And then he was like, do you know what's happening? You know you took her spot. And I'm like, I don't care, I'll go to the other place. Like, I literally don't care. I had no idea I was making well, such a scene. how are you scene. supposed to know that somebody was there even though nobody was there? And then we look she over away, like... it's like, dude. Yeah, she walked away. Gone. We look over like 10 minutes later. No She's one's in her spot. Again. She was gone uh, looking at... I don't know. She was something else. So I was like, no stinking problem. Like, we'll go over you here. You do your the thing. We'll go over wants. here. <laughs> we still found good stuff even though we weren't like... Yeah, I mean, he probably would have had better luck in like the brand new ones, but... It's like whatever. I don't know. It was kind of crazy. So, um, yeah, that was a little bit crazy. It put me in a little bit of a weird mood. I was like, okay, um, maybe we should just leave. So we were there for about another hour and a half. And then finally we were like, okay, we should probably go. We have a full freaking cart. And now it's like three o'clock. I'm really tired. I need some caffeine. But okay, so we're going to go ahead and continue on with our day. But I'll be back on here and just show off what we got. Hope you guys enjoyed our story time. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, so it is literally a few weeks after we went to the bins, but I wanted to just try everything on that my mom found or I found that was sort of something that I could wear. I only have one, two, three, four, five outfits to share with you. But um, we did find so, so many good things. We literally got an entire cart. We spent $75. My mom divided it up and it ended up being around like a dollar per thing that we thrifted. So she got a ton of inventory for her Poshmark, which if you go to my description, you will find all the information you need. She puts a lot of things into my Poshmark, a lot of things into her Poshmark, and she does a ton of vintage on hers and a little bit on mine. So we ended up doing super well. Um, so I'm going to just show you what we found. I would say it's great for a reseller to go to. I don't know if it's super worth your time and energy to go if you're not trying to get a super, super good deal. So here is my first outfit. Voila. Um, these jeans were anthropology jeans. Like they fit super well in the legs but they're a little bit like stretchy of a material and I feel like they would fall down because they're just like a little bit um, loose in the waist. I don't have much of a butt, so that's kind of where that comes in. But then I'm just wearing these super fun boots that are my sister's and then I threw my hair in a little clippy and then I'm wearing just some fun super blinged um, earrings. Do a little close up. Some super cute blingy blingy earrings. And it's like a higher neckline, so I put it, my hair up in a clip. 
but this has a shoulder pad which is fabulous and then these fun little buttons they have two options if you want it closer or further out i did the further out option um and the pattern just like is so 80s it reminds me so much of like the fresh prince of bel air or something like that and I just tucked it in. It's a longer shirt. And I feel like this would be so stinking cute to like wear to dinner um, in New York. Like I would definitely wear this. But since it's spring, I don't really need it. So I'm going to let my mom sell it. And yeah, I think it's a really good find though. I really, really like it for literally like less than a dollar. Okay, I think I need to move this back. Alright, so the next thing which I'm obsessed with is this sweater vest um type of situation it's kind of more of like a cap sleeve um but i think i could wear it in the winter with a turtleneck and um it would look really good but for now i'm just wearing it with this jean by itself so these jeans are thrifted they're pack sun jeans this top is a vintage brand as well um and then i got this bag at zara so I've been wearing it with everything. It looks like Bottega or Bottega, whatever. I'm, I don't know. I'm not I'm fancy. But then I'm wearing Gucci slides. And these were an investment by my parents. I'm not going to lie. did not buy these myself. Got them for Christmas a couple years ago. And yeah, I am so obsessed with this. I love like this um, sort of argyle situation. I don't know if that's the word. But I think the pattern is really nice. And I love this sleeve. I feel like this sort of right off the shoulder sleeve is so in the summer, like with either a shoulder pad and like a cotton material or, you know, a shirt like this. Um, but yeah, I wore this to go get coffee with my mom and I got so many compliments and did a little OOTD on my Instagram. So glad I found it. I think it's really fun and green and bright and fun and fun and fun and fun. The next top that I found is this Renee co like anthropology top obviously extremely see-through um don't have a cami to put on so just kind of let it happen um imagine if you couldn't see my bra through this but i think it's really good for work i don't know if i really want to keep it i think it'd be best to be resold um just because it's like cute but it's not something i would gravitate towards often especially not going into the office still but i do i do like it and i think the material is so good so um, I'm glad I picked it up, but it's definitely extremely see-through. I'm just wearing it with my Citizens of Humanity jeans. This Zara bag still I think would be great to wear to work. Like it's the right size for anything you would need that isn't like in the office already. Um, okay. Or like running errands or something. And then um, I'm just wearing my Gucci slides again because I feel like this is like classic mom outfit. And I just threw on this also anthropology pendant necklace that I got on super sale because it kind of goes with that like boho vibe like boho chic mom vibe is what I'm getting from this top but yeah one dollar alrighty so the next thing I got is this like lululemon yes I th well I think lululemon I'm not like a hundred percent sure it could be like 90 degrees TJ Maxx brand but it feels like really great quality. I mean, let me know if you think this is Lululemon. It had a tag, but it didn't say Lulu on it. It just said the size. It. My mom's thinking it's like the junior brand. But I don't know, because it definitely fits. And it's like long enough in my long ass arms. So I can't imagine that it's for a child. But who knows. Um. Anyway, so I just really love this. I've worn it a few times already. I'm just wearing it literally right over my aloe set that I got over the winter. It was like a birthday present to myself. I really wanted a really nice set. But unfortunately, like when I run, like this falls down. It's like so stretchy. Um, but I already worn it, so I'm just wearing it to lounge now because I can't run in it or my pants fall off. Great, I know, right? So anyway, um, yeah, I think I found Lululemon there or something very similar and I'm just going to tell myself it's Lululemon because it feels like it. So might as well be. 10 out of 10. Okay, so then I found this little, it's called a dicky, I think, right? Little, let me check. <laughs> if I'm calling it that, it's like kind of weird. Okay, yes. Yeah, so it's called a dicky. You can literally get one on Amazon for like $10. So these were like a thing back in like the 40s. I'm looking on Google and it says that they would wear this to 
cover up dirty shirts because they didn't do laundry like we do and all that so it's kind of crazy i definitely learned about these in college but um yeah now everyone is wearing them um everyone is wearing collars um with their sweaters or sweatshirts as like kind of a schoolgirl trend kind of thing so i saw this in the bins and i was like wait i should totally snag that um yeah i found one in the bin so that's what this is and it's literally like not even a shirt like it's a fake shirt all right yeah so this is my look i think this is actually so stinking cute i don't even know like maybe it's because i see it everywhere this is definitely not something i would have pulled out by myself or anything but i definitely have seen so many people wear it on instagram or tiktok you know, Gen Z is really bringing it with the fashion looks. So I'm literally wearing a Lululemon skirt that I got back in college when this was like cute to wear to like drink Long Island iced teas and pitchers and be crazy. Um, yeah, I'm super basic if you haven't heard. Anyway, so then I'm just wearing a sweatshirt that was my sister's. So she didn't want it anymore. And this little dicky thing underneath and you like I'm comfy like I barely feel like it's on and you know I get that full on colored look and then I'm just wearing these shoes that were also my sister's so big hand down girl over here if it's free or cheap like I take it so I think this top is BP so this was definitely back when she was in college or high school era um but it's really cute and I saw something on Etsy the same so I'll link that in the description and I'll also link this Amazon thing. Honestly, I'll try to find all these outfits and link similar stuff. Oh my god, I just twisted my ankle. But yeah, I'm really loving this look. I just kind of tied my hair up in this little clippy to really bring it on with a trend. And I feel like, you know, it's cute. I kind of tucked it up in up here so it's a little bit shorter and it gives me, you know, better proportions that are more flattering. But overall, I would say this outfit's a 10 out of 10. I feel like I'm really going to come into handy with this little dicky thing. I'm really going to end up wearing it a lot. I have a feeling, especially in the winter with sweaters. We'll see. This brings us to the end of my video. I will say the bins was really fun, and it was like kind of an experience to go with my mom. I wouldn't really want to go by myself, but you can definitely go. There's so many people there just doing their thing. Um, I definitely think everyone there is experienced to being there often or something because they were all like really in on like the rules and stuff that they don't explain. So it's just, it's kind of like a little community. I feel like that goes there every day or every weekend. Um, gonna sneeze. But I did find quite a few things that I'm really liking and my mom found so much to resell so definitely check out our Poshmarks in the description below and if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe I post a new video every single Thursday if my computers don't freak out which honestly knock on wood things have been going well I've been more organized on deleting files and making sure there's room and space and everything so let's like cross our fingers and hope for the best but yeah, I mean, that's really all you need to know about me. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you guys so much for coming along with me. And leave me a comment on your thoughts if you've been to the bins, if you haven't, what you think, what your experience is like. I, you know, love to hear from you guys. So definitely do that. And, um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next Thursday. Woo, have a good weekend. Bye.